السلام علیکم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ بینیفیشن اور دا موسٹ مرسیبل گائز ان مائی پریویس لیکچر آئی کورڈ آل دا کانسپ آف دا فانکشنز ایون بی سوال ولاد آف کوششن بائی مینی ویز رائٹ ناو بی ویل موو آن آفٹر دا فانکشن یو مست نو اباؤٹ دا ڈومین اینڈ رین The topic domain and range are very important in mathematics or you can say in function because whenever you have a function you must know what is the domain and what is the range. It's a very important topic. Okay, I have seen 90% students get confused on that point. They are not able to point how we can calculate the domain and the range. Okay. So inshallah, in my next video, I will <coughs> cover the topic domain. But before explaining the domain, I have to explain about the brackets, the type of brackets, or you can say parentheses. Once you understand the concept of parentheses, the bracket, it is so easy to define a function. Okay, so I'm going to start now. First of all, I want to tell you about a bracket. brackets okay we will use bracket we will use two types of bracket number one we will use open bracket open bracket open brackets and we will represent the open bracket by this way this one when you see this bracket this one and this one you must understand that this is a open bracket okay second you can say we have close bracket close bracket How will you know that this is a closed bracket? This is represented by this bracket. Okay. This is open bracket. This is closed bracket. What does it mean? It means that, for example, If I use the open bracket and I just write down a number 3 to 10, this is very important, right? So 3, 10 and we use the open bracket. The open bracket means we are not going to include 3 and 10. We will take all the number which comes between 3 to 10. Okay, so the numbers are 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We are not going to include 3 and 10. This is the meaning of what? Open bracket. In open bracket, we are not going to include, include these two number. We will take all the number which comes between 3 to 10. Right? So the numbers are 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Second, if I talk about a closed bracket, right? When we write down this one, you can say here this was open bracket right this is open bracket and now I'm going to explain about for example if I have 3 to 10 right and this is called closed bracket. This is what? Closed bracket. Close. This is closed bracket, right? Okay. Well, this, what is the meaning of the closed bracket? We will take all the numbers from 3 to 10 
as well as we will include 3 and 10 too. Okay, so it means what is the number between 3 to 10? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, as well as we will take what? 3 and 10 both. So whenever we say about the close bracket, it means you have to take 3 and 10 both, right? You have to include 3 and 10 and the number which comes between 3 to 10, right? So this is the difference between the open bracket and the close bracket, right? Sometimes you will see open close bracket. Sometimes you will see open close bracket, for example here. Open. Close bracket. In open close bracket, how will you represent this one? This is open and this is close. For example, I am going to take a number, the same number, 3, 10. It means we will not take 3 here. We will not include the 3, but we will include 10. So what are the number between 3 to 10? So we are not going to write 3. We will take 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I am going to write down here what? 10 because 10 has a close bracket. So we will include this one. Okay. And the fourth one, you will see close bracket. C-L-O-S-E-D. Closed open bracket. Right. Okay. For example, here I just close this one. But here I will use the open bracket. So again we are going to give this number 3. 3 to 10, right? So here, as you can see, before 3 we use the close one. It means we are going to include 3, right? So this will be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But I am not going to write down 10. Why? Because for the 10, which bracket is used? Open. So when you see open bracket is used, we are not going to include this value, right? So the answer is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, guys. I hope you understand the concept of brackets. Once you understand the brackets, it is so easy to define the domain and range of a function. Okay. One more thing. You know about a number which is the set of all the numbers, right? As I told you in my previous lectures, we have a lot of numbers, like even number, odd number, natural number, whole number, integers, rational number, irrational number, composite number, prime number, co-prime number. But the question is, which one is the main set of all the number that is called the real number, okay? So I'm going to write down here the real number. This is very important in the whole calculus. I will always use the real number. When I, when I say real number, it means you can take any number. Okay. Real number, which is represented by capital R. When I say capital R and where you can see this number, this is the point where. So when we draw a real line here, you will see here in between we have zero. We have zero here, we have one here, we have two, three, and so on, right? In the same way here, we have a negative value, minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on, right? So if you want to see a number 0 0.5, so 0 0.5 exists between zero and one, right? A lot of number from zero to one, like 0 0.1, 0 0.001, 0 0.0001, a lot of number you can find from this side to this side. So when you continue on the right side, there is a place here which is called positive infinity. On the left side, you have the minus infinity. I want to tell you what is infinity. <coughs> Guys, each and every number has a location. Okay. For example, if I ask you where is 4? Where is 4? So you can say the location of the 4 is after 3 and before 5, right? after 3 and before 5 because we know 
the four always come after three or before five right we know the location of the four but when we talk about infinity nobody knows where is infinity right so the location of the infinity either we talk about the positive infinity or the negative infinity the location of the infinity we don't know so when we don't know the location remember one thing in your mind we use always 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 the open bracket whenever we use minus infinity or positive infinity always we will use what open bracket always it means it means we are not going to take this one means the location of the infinity is not fixed but when we use if you use this one for example here minus infinity to positive infinity it means you are going to include the positive infinity which is 100% wrong because the location of the infinity is not fixed so remember whenever we use the positive infinity or the negative infinity we always use the open bracket we will never count the closed bracket i hope guys you understand and please follow my next lecture because that lecture is going uh, to be a very important lecture because where i am going to define domain and range and it will take at least five or six lectures to explain the domain and range because i'm means i'm a different teacher i'm not going to uh, make one lecture in which we included all the functions no i will just take one function and then we will study about a domain and range okay uh, in a very nice way you will understand and after then if you have a problem just uh, mention your comments okay in my channel and then inshallah if have a time i will just reply you guys i hope you understand take care bye bye assalamu alaikum